Welcome to this video about the MC Start software, where we take a look at the field layout workflows using CAD. My name is Randolf Römer, software developer at Mouse Software. Okay, in this video we will cover the following topics. First, we start with the settings, specifying a start number and symbol size. Then we will take a look how to manually insert points. We will see how to set up control, how to apply a corner system by using the origin in CAD. Then, when we have set up control, we will take a closer look how to export a background file and points to a robotic total station, and how to import points from a robotic total station as well. All right, let's get started. Uh, before we begin in CAD, let us take a brief look at the general settings of the MC Start software, which you can find at the Ribbon Quick Access Toolbar. Here you can specify a language for the software, as well as specifying a project location for your new projects. Uh, it's a good idea to specify a project location, so you don't have to navigate to your project folder each time you save a file. On the Units tab, you can specify a coordinate order and the MC Start units. The MC Start software will convert the corner data as well as the background file from the CAD drawing units to these MC Start units. So be sure to set it correctly here. Then on the CAD Brim Program tab, you can select your um, CAD program. Uh, in this video, we will use AutoCAD 2015, but you can also use AutoCAD LT, uh, BricsCAD, or ZW CAD versions with the MC Start software. Um, so we select OK to apply these settings, and uh, now we can choose Prepare Points in CAD Revit to start the CAD software. OK, now that AutoCAD is started, you can find the uh, MC Start plugin in the ribbon. And I just opened the entry level uh, of the Revit basic sample project, which I export in Revit in DWG file format. To start adding points to the drawing, let us first check the snap functions uh, by keying in uh, object snap. And be sure to select the uh, snap functions uh, that you need. And now we can choose settings to specifying uh, a symbol size and a start number for these points. Uh, for start number, we key in 1, and uh, then we press OK to apply these settings. To manually insert points, we have the Insert Points option. So we choose Insert Points, and now we can zoom in to these walls, for instance. And we're going to click to add some points to these walls. And to uh, exit the command, you have to press the escape button. Now that we have added some points, uh, let's set up control and apply a corner system for this drawing. To position the drawing to the real-world survey point in the field, we're going to use the origin in CAD. As you can see here, the origin is located in this drawing at this location. And we're going to use the uh, intersection of the grid lines here as our new starting point 00. zero which is also used by the surveyor in the field. Now, uh, let us use the uh, move command and select the entire drawing and press enter. Now, for specifying base point, we're going to zoom in and select the intersection of these, these uh, grid lines. For the second point, we're going to key in on a command line, 0, comma 0, and press Enter. And now, um, this will be the new uh, starting point to lay out the project. Now that we have set up control, we can export the points to the MC Start software. To export the points to a robotic total station or a GPS receiver, you have the options uh, Export Points, and export background filing points. When you choose export uh, background filing points, the current drawing in DWG or DXF format will also be exported and scaled to the MC Start units. Now let's export the current drawing and the points to the MC Start software by choosing export background filing points. The background file will be created and the points will be loaded in the MC Start software as we have created in CAD. To export the points and the background file to a device, we choose Export to Device. And we're going to key in a file name, entry level. And we're going to include the background file. Now we can click Explore Project Folder. 
and the files will be put on the clipboard. We're going to create a new folder, entry level. And we're going to paste in these files. As you can see, we have um, one background file in DXF format and a points file, uh, which we can load into the robotic total station. We can also import files from the field into the drawing. To do so, I just open the file of the surveyor in the MC Start Surveyor, and we can choose Export to CAD Revit to add these points to the existing CAD drawing. We navigate to the existing drawing and click Open. And we choose millimeters for uh, the drawing units. And we specify uh, the option with corners as measured. And then we click Export. The points will be added to the drawing. And uh, we see the reference points of the building. And the uh, control points of the surveyor that he's using to lay out the project. Okay, thank you for watching this video about field layout workflows using CAD. I hope it has given you a good overview. You can download a free 30 days trial from our website. It's not limited in any way from the full version, so be sure to download a copy. If you have questions, please feel free to contact us at support at mousesoftware.com. And again, thank you for watching.